Hey guys, welcome back. What's going on? It's your boy Worst Effing Gamer, and we are back with another League of Angels episode. This is Paradise Land, and we are taking a look at one of the newer heroes that was just released not that long ago. Her name is Victoria, and she's a freaking beast. My god, this chick is amazing, guys. She just does not die. So I'm gonna get into you know uh, some of her abilities, some of her um, treasures, equipment, all that kind of good stuff in a little bit. But first of all, let's quickly take a look at what kind of a hero she is. So as you can see, she's exactly like Teresa, which means that she's one of the uh, legendary heroes. You could call it. I'm not sure exactly how they refer to it. Whether it's legendary and then there's. Um, you know, epic and mythical, whatever. So her and Teresa are one of a kind. They are both legendary. While Teresa is an attacking hero, Victoria is the best defensive hero in the game. Oh uh, yeah, definitely, clearly by by far because she is actually the only legendary in the game. So that makes her automatically the best. Uh, it's kind of hard to work on both Victoria and Teresa to be honest because it's so expensive guys It's crazy expensive to work on both of them. Most people can kind of only you know only work on one So I don't really recommend you work on both of them unless you're trying to you know spend a good amount of money in the game But if you're not work on one because if you only work on one Here's what you can do once you hit the conversion here You can always convert one hero into another hero, but you can only convert the same type of hero meaning the same level so you have your legendaries like i said so you have teresa here she can only be converted with victoria because they are the same type and vice versa if you pick somebody else let's say you pick um michaela here she can only be converted with one of the other you know mythical heroes there's only four mythical two legendaries so with that said, let's go back and let's spotlight to Victoria real quick. So, as the angel of victory, her strong desire to protect her people has forged her into an invi invincible commander on the battlefield. She is known to never leave her uh, troops behind. Wow, that sounds really cool, Victoria. You are number uno. Alright, so her abilities, let's break them down real quick. So, starting off with her um, ultimate skill here. Inflict 232% damage on all enemies with 100% chance to stun the enemy with the highest rage. So that is pretty useful, guys. It's really good. A stun ability is always good. Uh, she is not really a big, you know, attacking hero. Obviously, she's a defensive hero. But this is pretty good for stun and stalling. All right. So that's her ultimate there. Her rage skill here. Inflict 52%, I mean 54% damage on all enemies and increase your own damage reduction effect by 50.4% while taunting all enemy single target attacks. Alright, so this one is actually pretty good. What this one is going to do is inflict a little bit of damage on everybody, but it's going to increase your damage reduction while it's going to taunt your enemies who are only dealing single target damage to only attack her why that's why that's really good all right because you kind of want them to attack her because she's lowering their uh you know uh damage reduction she's increasing your damage reduction i mean and then she's taking up all the hits which is not really doing anything to her at this point i only have her at six you know plus six and she has 212 hp at plus six compared to let's compare it to uh, Teresa, who is my strongest hero by far, if you can take a look at her, you know, overall power is 18.7 million, and Victoria is only at 6 million, right, so it's a big disparity in power there, but take a look at HP, 200, what is that, 21 million for, am I reading that wrong, 21 million, no, it's 2 million, 2 million for Teresa, and then we take a look at Victoria, it's 2 million as well, at this low of a stage, only 6 stars, right, so she's got a long way to go, guys, a long way to go in HP, and that's her strongest suit, her, you know, damage reduction, and her HP, so let's go on to the next skill here, and this one is, inflict 70% damage on a column of, so a column, just back-to-back -back heroes, of uh, enemies and reduce their attack by 36% for one round. Okay, so attack reduction as well. Very helpful. Installing and surviving a lot longer here. And then her last passive ability here. This ability is really cool, but like I said, it takes a long time for this ability to be unlocked. As you can see, it's locked right now unless you, you know, upgrade it all the way. But for now, I've, uh, I've only unlocked, 
Each turn recovers the equivalent of 3% of her own health, max health, alright? So 3% of her max health each turn will recover to her. So if your opponent cannot do more damage than 3%, which is a hell of a lot because she's already at 2 million, they're going to have a hard time taking her down in the battlefield, alright? So all abilities are for stalling, damage reduction, and just tanking the shit out of your opponents, right? That's why she's so good at... Uh, let's take a look at how far I've forged her equipment here. Uh, plus two, plus one, plus one, plus two. So not too bad. You know, she's going to need a lot of orange stuff uh, as everybody else. But Awakening here, as you can see, my sword. In order for me to get this passive skill to level three, like you saw before, I'm going to need three of these swords here. And uh, let's just not kid around. These swords are no joke, guys. It's crazy expensive to get them. Very expensive to get them, as you can sell in the shop. Oh, God. It's so expensive, so we're not going to go into that right now. Uh, this is what I got on mines for a Magistone here. Our protected Magistone is HP damage reduction and HP bonus, which is very nice here. And then the one that I kind of put to support her, HP block and HP bonus, right? So she blocks a little bit. She just increases her HP all the way. And then what I have on for treasure is a legendary item here, which is very nice here. Another one, when her own HP falls below 30%, restore 50% uh, health each round for two turns, right? So it makes it really, really difficult to take her down. I mean, tr incredibly difficult to take this hero down. So let's go on and see what she does in the battle, okay? All right, guys, so let's take a look at we know Victoria in action here, so we're gonna auto fight this battle. I got my support there. This team that I'm using right now, guys, this is not my normal team, to be honest. You know, I uh, I don't recommend you use three attackers on one team. It's not a good idea. But right now, there's an event for Michaela. That's why I put her on. Um, you know, normally you want to balance it out a little bit. I don't think I'm even gonna be able to pass this round right here, but. Uh, just want to show you guys her in battle a little bit here as you can tell a lot of damage reduction You know a lot of HP But these levels get harder and harder here. So even she might have a hard time surviving here. Look at that Still won't die still alive somehow because she's right dab smack in the middle there. So boom. There we go Come on. Let's pull it out. Oh, no. All right. She's dead right there So I mean this stage is very difficult and it's only part one to get to part two here now. I'm screwed can I do it? I'm not sure. Um, as I said before, Vic, uh, Teresa is my strongest hero in the game because I've worked on her the most. The one that you work on the most is going to be usually your strongest, but she's just a beast. Because she's an attacker, I think, and her abilities are incredibly good, guys. The, some of the best abilities in the game here. So let's take a look if I can do this somehow in auto battle. It's a lot smarter to actually do this. Not auto battle, but let's see what can happen. All right, we're down to just two. Two on two. Come on, game! Oh, I'm screwed. Can Teresa do it on her own? Nope, she can't. So that stage is hard. But let's take a look at the battle log. How did they do? Where the hell is my Victoria? Oh, this is for the first one. Oh, it only shows the second battle, I think. Hmm. That's very strange there. I don't see Victoria there. That's never happened before. All right, anyways. All right, guys. So final opinions on Victoria now. You're going to have a choice whether to go with Teresa or Victoria, you know, because you can substitute, you know, you can switch, you know, each other for one another. But it's not even close. I think Teresa is just a better hero right now. So you're probably going to have to, you know, want to go with Teresa. If you do go with one of these heroes, work on Teresa and then Victoria maybe later on in life work on her. But Teresa is number one. Victoria is number two. Now, that's not to say that Victoria is not probably the best defensive hero in the game because she is. And that's just a quick little preview of what she can do, alright? So I'm about to end this off here, guys. I hope you enjoy Victoria. Leave a like if you did. I will catch you guys next time on another League of Angels Paradise Land. I'll catch you guys next time.